news update now. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff community is mourning a tragic loss after a freshman basketball player was shot and killed. The young girl was home in Lake Village for Thanksgiving break. Susan L. Corey back from the university. And Susan, this is certainly devastating news, especially for those who knew her. Yeah, Donna Kevin, everyone I talked to today said that same thing. Even though she'd only been at the university for a couple of months, Sierra Lee Wade was well known and liked on campus. Her freshman advisor telling me she just simply stood out. It's a sad day for all of us. A somber silence settles over UAPB's campus. Most students are gone for Thanksgiving break. She didn't even ask for this. But they're finding out the Golden Lion Pride lost one of its youngest. Freshman basketball guard Sierra Lee Wade was shot and killed. She'd been playing the sport she loved at a park near her family's Lake Village home. She was a person that, that loved life and she was going to live it to the fullest. As Wade's advisor, Cedric Jackson, yes. got to know her pretty quickly. Ms. Wade always came in often. She'd she demand attention. Proving she'd make the most of college. Wade was an ROTC cadet and wanted to major in rehabilitation services so she could help others. She maximized her life. I mean, she was the type of person that she wasn't going to, you know, neglect whatever she had to do. She was going to always be, you know, top of everything. Her teammates are on the road for a game, so school counselors say they've set up support. They become family. And even though she was a first-year student, she was well-received. They're also prepared if more students want counseling when they get back to school, since Wade was the fifth student lost this semester. Now, I've been in higher ed over 40 years, and I have never experienced this number of tragedies in one semester. Leaving the tight-knit school, promising Wade will always be remembered here. She will be missed, but in order to fulfill her legacy, she has to live through you. State police are involved in this investigation. We do know another person was injured in the shooting, but they are recovering. At this point, police haven't said if they're looking for anyone or if any arrests have been made. Back to you.